The, this issue of racism with black footballers in the country. And Prince William got involved last night and good made a very him. strong statement, good for him. But the idea that Marcus Rashford, as well as a number of other players, uh, Anti Martial, his United colleague and other players, have been subjected in the last few days to the most vile abuse, so bad that Marcus couldn't even put screen grabs up of the stuff because he didn't want to send the wrong message to young fans of his who follow yeah. him. He didn't want them to be exposed to this garbage. Yeah. And it raises the whole question to me. What are we going to do about this? Because taking the knee is important and powerful. But these, these morons, these racists on social media still feel completely empowered to spew this racist abuse. We've still got the Black Lives Matter black warnings uh, adorning all mm. football stadia. And yet these footballers are still receiving these comments. Marcus Rashford tweeted, humanity and social media at its worst. Mm. Yes, I'm a black man and I live every day proud that I am. No one or no one comment is going to make me feel any different. So sorry if you were looking for a strong reaction. You're just simply not going to get it here. Um, and he makes the point, as you say, he wouldn't share the screenshot of mm. what was said. He said it would be irresponsible. And as you can imagine, he says, there's nothing original in them. I have beautiful children of all colours following me and they don't need to read it. Beautiful colours that should only be celebrated. Well, here's what we've got to do. Uh, we interviewed an Australian broadcaster, Erin Mullen, recently, where she's been part of affecting a new law where people that go after people in a most hideous, abusive manner, they start being fined now. Mm. Hundreds of thousands of Australian dollars. It's time we did that here. Absolutely. I think we should launch a campaign. But I'm launching it right now, and I want every major media outlet to get behind this. Let's bring in a campaign that if you spew racist abuse at anybody on social media, mm. because the social media companies have absolved themselves of any responsibility for this, they're not they'll kick off Donald Trump, but they won't kick off the racists who are abusing Marcus Rashford, who, to remind you, has raised so much money to help the most impoverished kids in this country. Changed government get, policy. Get fed. Get fed. Yeah. And they weren't just little black children. They were white kids and brown kids and every other form of child, right, because he doesn't discriminate. And yet these racist yobs, thugs, criminals, actually, I would imagine in some cases with some of the... Well, stuff police are doing, investigating the abuse. We've got to start... Finding out who they are. I mean, I've said for a long time, social media should have an obligation. You have to give your real name and your real picture and your real workplace in your profile. So we all know who each other is. Should be, it's a public platform. We all know exactly who you are. So your employer can take a view what you're doing. Not some anonymous egg or smiley face which entitles you to do this. But then when we catch these people, take them to court and fine them £100,000 each time there is vile racist mm. abuse. And let me tell you, it stops in a month. It stops in a month. You start handing out 100 grand fines to these people, as they're doing in Australia, it stops. We've got to do this. Why should, why should these footballers be subjected to this kind of abuse? It is absolutely disgusting. And we've got to find the people doing it and we've got to hold them properly to account where it will really hurt them. So and the government... It hurts them by finding them yeah. enough money that none of them want to do it again. The government held a meeting with uh, several leading black figures uh, within the game last week to discuss this problem. And they are expected to present a new online harms bill before Parliament this year, which the government says will require tech firms to take action so that what is unacceptable in the street and in the stands is unacceptable online as well. Quite right, too. Just, we've got to get a grip of this. I can't we... imagine what it would be like. You come off the pitch and you go onto your social media to reflect with mm. fans on the experience of the game. And, but you know, because they know they're going to get it. And it's absolutely sickening and totally disgusting. Yep. And actually criminal. Yeah, so let's, but let's find them. About it. <laughs> let's find these people. Just take them to the cleaners financially. That'll stop it. I'm telling you, that will stop it. Mm. It stopped it in Australia, largely, uh, because they're now getting fined 100 grand. We let these people get away with it. <clears throat> it's completely outrageous.